disclaimer out there, I am not a lactician, so I don't know how my locks are gonna turn out or if there are any repercussions to me retwisting my hair versus me interlocking it. But that's what the journey is for, so we will find out together as we go along throughout this year. Today I'm gonna be talking to you about some reasons why I quit, I stopped, I'm no longer, I'm never going back to interlocking my sister locks. I will be retwisting them from now on. That is my new thing, that is my go-to, and I am so happy about starting my second year of my sister lock journey with a brand new maintenance routine. Like, I'm super excited about that. Dry it, come on, lay down, go night night. He's supposed to be taking a nap, got the baby. If you're watching one of my videos for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a part of the family. It's all about life and locks over here. I do day-to-day -day vlogs and you know, things of that nature. But today we talking about hair. Um, if you aren't new, then hey girl, welcome back. So as you guys know, I took a little hiatus off of the internet and while I was gone, I was really maintaining my locks on my own. Now, what I was doing is I was waiting a pretty long period in between my reties before I would interlock my hair again. I would wait at least two to four months before I would interlock my hair. So I would say all of 2020, I probably interlocked my hair at least three, no more than four times for the entire year because I was splitting that thing up because I was not looking forward to getting my hair done or doing my hair on my own because it just took too long. It would take like eight hours for somebody to do my hair and then when I would do my own hair, baby, it took me six days. And that's six days working at least eight hours, if not longer. So yeah, you know, I got life, I got kids, I got responsibilities and I can't just be sitting on my hair all day, but I would at least work eight hours each of the six days that I would do my retwist. And the whole time I'm doing my retwist, it's just like, I'm frustrated. Like, yeah, I'm happy that I know how to do it myself, but the time that I'm putting into it was just becoming too much of an inconvenience for me. Like, I'm like, is it, that serious to have little bitty locks. Like I do really love my locks the size that they are, but that maintenance was kicking my, you know what. So I was like, something's gotta get, something's gotta change. So I did a lot of thinking, I did a lot of reflecting and I was like, okay, so if I'm gonna continue to maintain my locks on my own and I know that time is an issue because I have so many itty bitty locks, and then what I could do is just go ahead and combine them, make them bigger, because that would at least cut the time down in half. And then it even got to the point to where I was considering just cutting them off. Cutting off my locks and just going back to being a loose natural. I was not gonna undo all these little bitty locks. I was just gonna cut them off and start fresh. And then of course I stumbled across a video on YouTube of somebody retwisting their micro locks and I was like, sis, I gotta try this method. I have to try something else before I go ahead and make, you know, a pretty drastic change like combining or cutting them off. So I was like, okay, let me try it. And when I tell you that I got done with my hair in one day, even though one day is still long, but one day I was excited. So the main reason why I wanted to go ahead and start retwisting my sister locks instead of interlocking my sister locks is to save time. I started a lock journey because I wanted to have more freedom with my natural hair, but then it became like I was kind of tied back down to my hair because of the maintenance process. But with retwisting, it is so much easier for me to maintain my locks by myself without the help of it anyone like I might go to someone for like a hairstyle or something like that but when it comes to the maintenance I can confidently say that I got this so another reason I wanted to go ahead and start retwisting instead of interlocking is because I just is because I just felt like my hair was not retaining length. I feel like there was a couple of reasons why my hair was not retaining length and it was because of the interlocking method and because I was consistently, every day, like drenching my hair in water, like unnecessarily. And you know, that's one of the main things that they tell you to stay away from. So when I was putting a lot of water in my hair, I didn't really have a lot of issues with slippage. 
um, around my perimeter, yeah, they would get like really loose, but as far as like my locks coming out or coming completely undone because of water, I never had that issue. So I took advantage of it and I would take a shower, no shower cap, and just, you know, pretty much drench my hair. Not just the ends of my hair, but like the roots of my hair and everything. So I would get out of the shower, my hair would be looking all elongated, and it would be looking all pretty, like how I would want it to look on a day-to-day -day basis. But then, it would dry up. And when it would dry up, it would, it would just shrivel, girl. It would just shrivel all the way up into these little bitty tiny short locks. And I'm just like, ugh. And I kept doing the same thing over and over and over and over for like a year. And finally, it just clicked like, this water's not helping you. <laughs> you think the water's helping you, but it's not helping you. So now that I'm retwisting, I'm using a lot less liquid and water on my hair. So when I take a shower, I am back to putting my shower cap on and when my hair needs some moisture, I'm telling you, it's just like a quick two little spritz, a little spritz with my little spray bottle, my continuous spray bottle, and then that is it. Like we are not drenching the sister locks in 2021. We're not doing that. We're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna see what that does as far as helping me to retain length. Then as well with the whole retwisting, that is also going to help me to retain length because I'm not gonna be tying up my roots how I would normally do it. I'm just kind of like twisting them and pulling them down. So that's just gonna help me to retain length. I already see a slight difference just in the three weeks um, since I've retwisted my hair and stopped putting the water on there, so. I'm really excited to see, you know what I'm saying, what my hair is gonna do this year because I feel like it's just gonna be a lit, a lit year. Like that's what I feel, it's gonna be super lit, hair's gonna be on fleek, I'm gonna be on fleek, spirit gonna be on fleek. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be lit. So yeah, retaining length is another reason why I wanted to go ahead and start retwisting my sister locks. One of the reasons why I feel like I really wanted help with interlocking is because I kept, tying my locks together or m marrying them together and it was like to the point to where I couldn't undo it like I heard that there was a way that you can undo it but I could just never figure it out and it's like damn I combined another lock next to the one that I was trying to interlock and I wasn't trying to do that and so that was pretty annoying and I feel like you know it was messing with the grid even though I'm not like really particular about the grid but of course I still want it to look you know a bit neat so I was like okay so now that I'm retwisting I don't have to worry about combining my locks accidentally anymore like if I want to combine my locks it's because I want to and I actually intentionally take one lock and the other lock and twist it together to combine it versus me trying to interlock one lock and then accidentally combining it together so that is you know another reason why I'm opting to retwist instead of interlock the next one is so I already got it like planned out like if I need to do like a quick little touch-up or something like that on my hair because I want you know the front of my hair to look you know put together and presentable versus you know I'm saying the back of my hair just looking how it's looking because it's covered up with you know my hair in the front then I could do like an easy little touch up like it wouldn't take me no more than you know some good planning a few hours to just go ahead and touch up the front of my hair with retwisting I would never think about trying to retouch up anything with interlocking like my lock could be hanging on by a thread and I'm still like, I'm not gonna bother or mess with it until it's time for me just to go ahead and do all of my hair. But with this retwist method, like I'm like, okay, I can see myself. I could definitely see myself just going ahead and doing like a little touch up around my perimeter because it's just gonna be that quick, that easy versus with interlocking. Okay, so another reason I wanted to go ahead and start retwisting instead of interlocking is because my locks are little. My sister locks are tiny. I have over 500 locks in my hair. My hair is pretty thick, as you guys can see. Um, 
the tool that I was using to interlock, I'll go ahead and insert a picture or something like that in this video. But the tool that I was using, it wasn't, like I have locks that are smaller than the tool that I was using. But you know, the, the little needle part was is small or whatever, but when you got to the, the end of it, it was like shaped weird in like this like triangle. And so I've only lost two locks. It'll be two years that I had my sister locks and I've lost two locks. So I believe my mistake in how I lost them locks was due to the fact that I interlocked my hair and I didn't wash before. Usually I wash my hair before, but this time I didn't wash before. So I went ahead, did my hair. Of course I was spraying it as I was going along to make sure that my roots were soft or whatever. But you know, I went ahead, did my hair, and then afterwards, like literally the next day after I finished my retie, I shampooed my hair. Trying to like, my scalp was still pretty like sore and sensitive which is another reason why I stopped or wanted to stop interlocking. So I washed it really, really good or whatever. I'm gonna come back to that. I washed it really good and just, you know, all that scrubbing and, sh and shredding and stuff, like the interlocking would make my roots so thin that I lost a lot. The first one, I didn't know it just came out from somewhere. I couldn't tell you where it came out. The second one came out from the perimeter. And if you look at the lock, from when I was interlocking it, the roots were getting so tiny, like so, so, so tiny. And you know, it would pull out a little bit of hair. It wasn't like dramatically, but it would pull out my hair. So my roots were really thin and then, you know, my locks on, or the bottom parts of my locks were thick. So I didn't like that. So with retwisting, I get to keep all of my roots because it's like I'm not pulling out any of my hair. I'm not doing a lot of manipulation to my actual hair except for twisting it. That is it. That is all. So what I was saying was, um, what was I getting back to? What was I going to get back to? So yeah, the interlocking was making my roots really, really thin, which is another reason why I wanted to go ahead and start retwisting because it was making them so thin that I felt like if I would just keep going, especially waiting extended periods to interlock my hair, then it would just have my roots extremely thin and fragile with interlocking versus with retwisting. It's a, it's a gentle process. It's a less manipulative process. So now that I'm staying away from water, um, I feel like I said my length is going to retain because my hair is not going to be shrinking up, shrinking up as much as it did before when I was putting all that unnecessary water in my hair. When I take a shower, shower caps are worn. I'm not washing my hair as much as I was when I was interlocking, but I'm okay with that because I don't feel like my hair is getting that dirty to the point to where it's like, oh my gosh, I need to wash my hair every week. I feel like that would probably be a con to some people as far as retwisting, is that fact that you don't wanna frequently wash your hair as much as you could with interlocking versus retwisting because that's just gonna mess up all the work that you've put into your hair after you've retwisted it. So I'm looking at wash days to be for me in between my retweet. I just moved to Texas. Um, I was looking for some people to do, you know, sister locks, maintenance and all of that. And I'm just like, I really don't even feel like getting into all that. Like, I really just wanna do my hair on my own. So yeah. Those are the reasons why I decided to go ahead and start retwisting my hair instead of continuing to interlock. Like I said, we'll see what happens to my locks on this journey as I continue to go through this process. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and all the buttons that you need to hit in order for the video to do good. You already know. You already know, and so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.